What's going on, everybody? Back at you, new video. Got PSA order, came back in. It was uh, this one here. Let me get the dates for you. I mailed it off 21 September. It arrived there the 24th. It got entered into the PSA system October 26th. Hmm. This was my last bit of an economy order. I only had 10 cards in it, everybody. So it was nothing like really huge for the order. It was just stuff I was throwing in last minute because I knew economy was going to be shut down about a week later. But I'm going to hit a mail day real quick first before this. Uh, there's only two pieces to it. And let me squeeze on over. I hit a giveaway from BST Sports Cards. Hit a wonder. It was a Twitter giveaway, actually. So if you guys ain't following him on Twitter, he does giveaways on there. He gave a Giannis autographed basketball away and stuff, so check him out. So these were the uh, top loaded cards. Pretty cool. Now those aren't in the store. I haven't got that far into it. I hit this uh, Luis Robert PSA 10. This is in the store right now. What you're going to see for this, uh, most of this stuff, it's going to be in the store minus this next card. Everything else will be in there now. Got this back. Only a little over a two-year wait for Kevin Durant to actually sign. This is 2018-19 Opulence Durant out of 79. Uh, I'm holding it for a while. I'm not too sure what to do with it. These are very hard grades because the corners have the foil that's real light onto it. So it definitely would not go get graded. But these are very nice cards. This is the foil. You can't. If you get a 9.5 Beckett on one of these overall, you've done well. And anybody who knows Opulence will tell you the same thing. But really good card. I want to say this is in a neighborhood. I can't remember. There was something that was sold like one of his out of 10 or 25. I can't remember if I put this at 150 or 250 now. But I'm holding it with the playoffs. Definitely holding the playoffs. So again, had a PSA order come back in. Overall, 50% PSA 10s. I only had 10 cards, so half of them got 10s. Two nines, three eights. Some of them shocked me. I mean, again, this was before microscope and before I got that other magnifier where I was just using a jeweler loop, and it was just killing me completely. All these cards are already loaded in the website, streamcardbreaks.com. So if you're interested, they're there. First up, Joey Burrow. This is out of the Elite Series from Don Russ. Here we go. Came back at 8. And I'm guessing it's going to deal with how like opulence are because of these foil edges that they used on these. Because the only other thing I knew when I was setting it in, when I looked at these, the edges weren't like very solid onto it. There was like a lot of... Um, if you looked at it under like 10x, I want to say that was, you could see little jags on them. It was on a lot of their cards. So I figured they'd been leading since it was like on everything I've seen. But pretty cool card. I just like the background of these. Up next, 2019. Did them, eight. And I don't know what order these are in, guys. It's not like eights, nines, and tens. I'm just grabbing off top. So we just actually hit two eights quick. Set him? No, no. He might be one day starting. Maybe they'll trade him. I don't know now that they got Mac Jones up there. These are just real hard to read. But there, it's an eight. There we go. Took a second. In the store as well, in case you're still trying to chase Stidham. Again, when I mailed these in, these guys were doing well and the cards were selling good. It just shows you over the length of time how much we have a soft market to where these things are not worth nearly as much as before. Minchu, rookie from Don Russ, did PSA 10. This one I surprised. Tend it. This is the Stidham. It's the die cut press proof silver. These were out of 75. Yeah, out of 75. I don't think I wrote that on the website when I put it up there. But very limited to get a 10 on it. I mean, it's going to be a low pop for 10s. And right now, I'm pretty sure it's a pop one, but. You know, it is what it is. I thought Stidham was going to take over on Newton's job and everything else. Decided to roll with some in there. Up next, you guys can see another one. These Elite Series are just hard to grade. Um, 
with that being said, I mean, I knew top and bottom was off onto this one. But this is uh, Drew Locke came back in eight. And now that I see it, there's a little bit of weight down there. So that just shows you when I was using that jeweler too, the strain that I had on my eyes just was not very helpful. All right, up next, another Stedham. Nine, Don Russ, PSA nine. Kyler Murray, PSA nine. <laughs> I can only laugh at some of this stuff. Jackson Hayes, when he was hot. Optic, PSA ten. Red rookie. I did well on Optic in prison this year by looking him over. Now this here, I really debated on putting in the store. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to hold it, but it's in there. Herbert, elite rookie elitist. PSA 10. These here are very, very hard. They remind me of Absolute, where you have to look over this entire card for everything there is. Um. This was the only one that I had, and what was funny was the back of these, you can see like where the die cuts are in from the front. So it was really hard for me to look these over, but this was the best one. I'm happy it came back at 10. Again, that's in the store too. And last up, got this off of Tommy's Breaks I bought. Came back at 10, Soto Batting from Update. So realistically, if people always ask, well, how much money did you have in this and coming out? Realistically, I'll make a few bucks on this after grading and what I have put in these cards. Because this here is like 185 to 200-ish. Somewhere in that ballpark. I think I put in the store at 185, the low end. This last one of these sold at 87 bucks. So, I mean, realistically, this would have paid for grading. So the rest of the stuff that I had in, not much because it was all pre-order stuff onto it. So there, there's always money to be made, but it really depends on how well you get your grades back. And that's why I ended up buying that microscope I showed everybody in the video. The uh, my, I was trying to see, oh, it is down on my side. Um, the microscope itself is very, very thorough to me. It doesn't strain my eyes from going over 30, 40 cards. Because with it, I can see the edges real good in the corners. Occasionally, I'm finding stuff on the surface and that with it. But, you know, it, it it's eliminated a lot. And I'm really curious when those orders start coming in, how much better they are. And just real quick, everybody knows I sent in that Trout and uh, Griffey Auto out of Defend about 10. It's already being shipped back today. One week. One week. That is awesome. That is, and I mean, Super Express used to be eight days, I believe. They're way ahead of it. Way ahead of eight business days. Extremely happy. Um, I do know the grade on it, and I didn't want to know it. I was on the phone with uh, CBC last night, Joey, and I was just curious looking at how many people graded Definitive, and I saw somebody graded one, and I'm like, really? Somebody else graded one of these, and I happened to catch the grade. But I'll show you that. Hopefully it's here Friday, if not Saturday. It should be here, and I'll just have to cut my time at the card show down to make it back uh, before the UPS store closes down. And one more thing real quick, if you're still hanging around the video, which I do appreciate. And no, no, it's not. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that, you know, that uh, subscribe button thing. But uh, I'm going to start something different on this channel. And... It, I don't know how often I'm going to do it. It's going to be like a Saturday night or a Friday night thing. And I'm going to call it Overtime with Extreme. So it's going to be like later hours Eastern Standard Time. And it's going to be kind of like a raw, uncut thing. Now, I'm not going to be using like the F word and stuff like that there. And anybody I have on there, I would hope they wouldn't either. But it's going to be Zoom on to youtube and we'll be watching a youtube you know with any kind of questions you can people have to be i guess you could say asked in there and they need answers to but i want to do something a little bit different i don't want to call it a podcast and i don't want to go into like like a late night show type deal but i'm going to try this out this what if i said i was going to do it's going to be this saturday it's going to be a test run this saturday will be a test run with it 
Uh, I'll post something up about it later on this week. But it'll probably be at like 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as a test run. But normally we'll be looking at doing these probably like Friday nights at midnight Eastern Time. And if people want to hop in and I know and want to jump in talking about whatever in a hobby, we can do that. I think it'd be a little bit interesting on too. It's not going to be me interviewing people live. That'll all still be scheduled. But I just want to do something like that to where it's a little bit more raw. And I don't mean raw as in a way like salty or, you know, there's going to be, you know, it's rated R type deal. Just give me like straight raw thoughts, you know, that I have coming out, what I see going on, instead of just, you know, blurb it in a video here or there. And it'll kind of eliminate some of this small talk that I do in the videos down by me doing this. I don't know if I'm going to do it weekly. It might be bi weekly. But I think it'd be kind of uh, fun to do offhand and just to where everything I've seen for that week or two weeks, I'm just throwing it out there and. You guys want to come in hang out listen to it maybe open some product up while i'm on live too never know offhand but just want to give everybody a heads up on that it's something i've been working towards the last three or four weeks and the hardest part was just trying to get it i call it an itinerary to where i know what i want to do with that but by doing it what can i cut out different other aspects of the videos and I can, but it's mostly the, what I call the jibber-jabber part of it, the end of the videos. So I can sit there on the, these uh, um, overtimes and say, this is what you can expect coming out for videos for next week or the week after and stuff like that there. Talk about new product releases and where I can just be like, <laughs> this product's crap, you know, and stuff like that there. And I'll, I'll just be my, you know, my normal, you say, cheery self that most people get to hear on the phone. Whatever you guys call me and stuff like that. But all right. Appreciate everybody. Just figured I'd toss that out there before I forget about mentioning it in the video. Again, everything's in the store. I do appreciate the support watching the videos and everything. Always just feel free to email me if you find a scam or have a question about something out there or you want a video done on something. No problem whatsoever. I just got to, you know, get all the stuff together and I'll throw it out there into a video. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of the week. You guys got. I'm not really doing overtime starting. Got another uh, soccer box coming in at Topps Chrome. Box of Legacy Football. Go we'll have some card show, or at least a card show video, depending on how much time I have there. You guys will get to see another PSA thing coming in. Um, eventually, my GMG stuff will come back in. There was something else. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Take care.